and you can see Theo Inyani here definitely has to talk sports with us. And Ghana is playing Uganda. Yeah, sure. That's mm. our first game in the AFCON 2017, and it promises to be a cracker. The Ghana Football Association, first of all, let's start with the report of, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the denial of the fact that Captain Avram, uh, you know, Asamoajan is no longer uh, going to be leaving, uh, you know, that camp. And uh, yes, I mean, he's uh, very much well preparing for this game. But uh, we'll be back with the details of that particular story. Now we start off uh, with the story on Asamoah The GFA has slammed a false report claiming that Asamoah has stormed out of the Black Stars' 2017 African Cup of Nations camp on the night before their crunch clash with Uganda in a dispute with Andre Ayu over captaincy. Now the GFA was forced to issue a statement on social media to debunk those reports. Uh, they said promptly ignore false reports that Asamoah has uh, left Ghana camp at the African Cup of Nations in a dispute with Andrea Yu um, even before the team arrived in Port Gentil on Saturday for the start of the tournament. There, uh, it reported that uh, the players had rejected the team's hotel and training pitch. Now, this turned out to be false as the players did not reject the hotel and are still staying at uh, the same allocated hotel uh, that was given them by the Confederation of African Football. And then we go straight to that particular game that the Black Stars are going to be playing later today at 4 p.m. After weeks of backlash from Ghanaians, the Black Stars players have resolved to accept any amount proposed by the country's sports ministry as winning bonus at the ongoing African Cup of Nations. After such a bold declaration from the players, here is a preview to the AFCON 2017 opening match in Group D against Uganda. Ghana will be keen to start the tournament on a high as they chase their first trophy since 1982 with Uganda back after a lengthy absence. Ghana are one of the tournament's most decorated nations with only Egypt having bettered their tally of four Afghan triumphs. Ghana coach Avram Grant wants the players to be in the moment at the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and not be distracted by the past. In the last African... It was very, very close, 22 penalties, and if we may say we, are, we was the better side, but this is good for the memories. Now we want to achieve something, and uh, as you see, as I saw the players, and I know them now, I know them more than two years, uh, they can achieve a lot of things uh, when we are together, and we are together, and uh, it's a good group of people with quality and with passion uh, to serve the countries, and this is why I choose them, there is players that even they have the quality when I saw that they don't want to serve the country and make other people happy, which this is the main thing in national team. In national team, you have a privilege to serve your country and make a lot of people happy. Ghana's last trophy came 35 years ago, but since then they have lost in three finals, most recently against the Elephants on penalties in 2015. Captain Asamoah is counting on tournament experience within the Ghana camp to go a step further. Um, we've got quality players, um, no doubt about that. You know, but um, I think our attitude on the field can determine whether we can go far or not. Because it's very, very easy to talk about winning the cup, but you need to show people you want to win the cup. You know, and um, that is what um, I'm. I'm praying for the Almighty God. You know, we have to be just praying for injury free also. Uh, because we need all the players, you know, um, those on the bench, everybody. We need everybody in the team right now because to win um, a trophy, you know, everybody must get involved, you know, and uh, that is what I'm praying for. Uganda last qualified for AFCON in 1978 when they were beaten 2-0 in the final by Ghana. 
They had to settle for second spots in their qualification section behind Burkina Faso, but paid Botswana and Comoros to second place and booked their tickets for the finals in Gabon as one of the two best runners-up. Now, still previewing that game against Uganda later at 4 p.m., we take a look at how Avram Grant will shape up with the quality he has in his side and whether some of the new players will get a look in. There are those who have questioned the quality of the 23-man squad named by Avram Grant for the AFCON 2017. Majid Waris was dropped for Schalke's Benatekwete. But his likes may yet have to wait to feature for the nation in their opening game against Uganda on Tuesday. In the goalkeeping department, Grant will keep most of his usual squad and the goalkeeping role will go in favour of Razak Braima, ahead of Atal Dauda. While Stars goalkeeper Richard Ofori for now will just have to do with the experiences he is gaining in the senior national team of Ghana. The head coach usually sticks with his trusted defenders as John Boy will partner Jonathan Mensah at the heart of defence as this is the partnership that has worked for Avram Grant since taking over as Black Star's boss. Abdul Babar Aman will keep his place at left back with little competition for him due to Jeffrey Schlopp's absence. Harrison Affle will occupy the opposite side. Daniel Amate will have no place at the back of the defence he got in the squad after some great displays for Leicester City in the Premier League and Champions League going into the game against Uganda. The hype, however, has never cooled down. Ifri Yakwa and Mubarak Wakaso are likely to be deployed to do the work at the heart of Ghana's midfield. Between defending and attacking, they will defend more but would also push forward when need be. Andre Ayu and Christina Chu will be the creative minds to transition Ghana's defence into attack. Ayu recently returned from injury, but his inclusion in the lineup will not be for just footballing reasons. Jordan Ayu has a place in the lineup. He is not scoring many goals for Aston Villa recently due to how he's been deployed. On a very good day for Jordan, look past his sack shots, he can get the goals. Who more well placed to partner him in attack than Asamwajan? The skipper of the stars is the main danger man and will be very likely to start barring any injuries. Adding to his goals at the AFCON 2017 will extend his lead at the top of the all-time scoring charts and a further step to break Wilberforce in his eighth goal record for Ghana in AFCON history. It's a Black Stars day, isn't it? Now we will take to the streets to sample views of football fans in the country and hear what they think and believe the Black Stars are capable of at the AFCON 2017. And Mankwa, my colleague, is in Zongo Lane, a suburb in Accra, with some football fans. Nanekia, if you can hear me, good afternoon. And uh, give us a feel of what exactly is happening, wherever you are. I will say... Yes, yes. It's another match day of the Africa Cup of Nations 2017, where the Black Stars of Ghana takes on one of their biggest rivals, the Cranes of Uganda. Now, let's find out. We are here at the Accra Zongo Lane. Let's find out from the supporters how they are preparing to boost the Black Stars and support them. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you. How are you preparing for the Black Stars? I'm fully supporting them um, to the top. We highly, highly supporting them. You know, they have been disappointing us for some time now, but... For this one day, we know see, they could do something good for us. So we are fully supporting them. How many goals do you think the Black Stars well, can score the Uganda? Me, I'm predicting 2-1 um, Ghana against Uganda. Players to score? Um, players to score. It's a random, so I can't, I can't predict the players. All right. All right. Let me find out from you. What is your expectation for this game? Uh, my expectation is that we're going to blast our prepare work in Africa Cup of Nations. We're going to be 2005. Two nil. In 2009, we were two nil. In 2014, we came to draw. That number we watch come in. We have finished. We came here. African Cup of Nations. We went. 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 We any of them. Right. Your expectation for the game? 
Yeah, um, we almost lose hope um, since they play. Since they play after the Brazil match, we lose hope for the Blaster. But we got ourselves to encourage uh, ourselves supporting back again. So I think we will do good this time. Your prediction of the goals? Uh, I think um, one day will be good for us. Uh, Asamojan will do that. Asamojan should score the goal. Let me find out from you. What is your prediction for the game? Well, I think the last time we played against the Ugandans in Tamale, we played with Drew. But this time around, I hope the fans are totally behind them, and I hope 2 0 will be one for Asamojan and one for uh, Atu. All right, 2 0 coming from in as well. Let me find out from you, you two, your expectation for the game. Oh, uh, what can be match there? Let me bow our because. What can make us six matches? Uh, what what win I mean two? I mean win you one. Draw I mean. Draw be ane. Many matches. What you are all out? What win I mean? All right. How are you preparing? And what kind of expectation do you think the Black Stars need? Uh, my prediction is my prediction. My prediction is two one against them because it's a crucial game. So you have to win there. That is my prediction. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let me find out from you. You too. Yes. Here we go. Elia ke Ghana bawo two one. One. Goals from who and who? Um, baby Jet. Baby Jet, that's a mm -hmm. Atu. Okay, and you too. Uh, oh, me, 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 John Boyle, like a John Boyle, like a Sele, be Febby Nijele, a Kaito, a Kaito, a Kapo Kona, no. First goal, definitely, like John Boyle, our first goal. Second goal, Baba, no, our level. All right, so as you can hear from the fans, they are expecting the Black Stars to win this game 2 1 against Uganda. So over to you, the studio. All right, so that was uh, Nana Ikea Mankwa with some football fans, you know, getting their views ahead of the Black Stars' game against Uganda. And that really promises to be a cracker because, remember, Uganda were here in the country just a few months ago uh, for the World Cup qualifiers, and uh, the game ended 0-0. So the Black Stars once won over the, uh, uh, you know, developing rivals on the African continent. But we move away from there. We go straight to some other news, and but still on the Black Stars because we are going to be uh, going to speak to Nanajiman. He is a sports journalist and, and, uh, and, and renowned uh, coach here in Ghana. He knows all about Ghana football. Nana, good afternoon. And if you can hear me, what exactly do you make of uh, Ghana's chances at the AFCON 2017? Uh, good afternoon to you and a good afternoon to all your viewers. Um, well, uh, um, the chances of the Ghana Black Stars are 50 50, to be totally honest with you. Uh, we're not uh, outright favourites. Uh, we've, we've continued to have the challenges that we normally have when it comes to intercontinental competitions and World Cup competitions. I hope by now everyone is sober, everyone is focused on, on the match that we have at hand because it's a tough game against the Ugandans. It's a game that we must win in order to settle the nerves, not only of the players on the technical bench, but to settle the nerves of Ghanaians here in Ghana. Um, because, uh, as you know, the euphoria is very low in the country. There's no flags flying. We're not wearing replica jerseys. In fact, perhaps the vast majority are not interested in the fact that we're at an AFCON. And, and it doesn't appear that we're at an AFCON either. So they will need to win. Uh, we'll need to put up a very good performance. They need a resounding victory, something that can give us hope, something that can create confidence, something that can establish uh, some form of uh, hope in the, in the Black Stars once again, that perhaps they can do something. It's been 35 years, and right. uh, many generations have not witnessed the... Ghana Black Stars come home at the Kotoka International Airport with a trophy. All right, Anajiman, uh, let me just ask you about this. Uh, you know, after Ghana arrived in Gabon, there was news that the GFA and the players had rejected the hotel and the training pitch. It was later denied. And then later, uh, just yesterday, there was another news that the captain of the Black Stars, Asamwajan, had uh, reportedly left the camp because of, a, of an issue he had with Vice Captain Andrea Ayew. When you hear these things, having been with players, having worked with uh, professionals, how does this affect the psychology of any uh, footballer, especially in a tournament as this? Well, I think first and foremost, we have to dismiss those news. That, to, to coin a famous Trump quote, that's fake news. Uh, and we need to dismiss that news. We don't need to give that news 
the oxygen it needs to circulate amongst us as Ghanaians. Psychologically, it will have an effect on the, the, the Ghana Black Stars because they've all heard about it and the FA has had to come out quickly to debunk it. I don't know why some journalists are doing this, but I guess it's based around the disaffection that is already there because of what took place uh, in the World Cup. But it's totally unnecessary. Uh, and I would hope that the coach and the rest of the technical staff and the management team will be able to get the players to really focus on the game and not to think about uh, unwarranted fake news uh, like this that is popping up. There's no, there's no disunity in the camp. The players are all together. Asamoah Jan is there. No one has left the camp and they're ready for this match. And I think that's where the focus really needs to be. Okay, Nana, finally, let me ask you, what is your take on Ghana's game against Uganda? Um, our first game later today. Um, how do you see that going? Well, it's going to be a very tough game. I'm a bit concerned because the, the firepower that we have isn't as potent as uh, one would like it to be. We sent Rafael Jamina home. He scored uh, 18 goals out of 20 games. We sent um, uh, Waris home. He scored eight goals, another eight goals. We sent Akam home. He scored 14 goals out of 29 matches with six assists. And we're left with players, with five players, and if we, if we calculate the goals they have scored and put it together, it just amounts to eight. Now, you can't win games without scoring goals. And so the striking prowess is quite weak. So I'm really hopeful that the midfield will come into this game very strongly and where our strikers can't hit the back of the net, the midfielders can do it. I don't care who scores, but I would like to give us a fighting chance by you know, selecting players there that are on form, that are playing regularly and that are hitting the back of the net on a regular basis. And I don't think we've done that. It's going to be a very tight call. I think 2-0 should be sufficient. I don't expect us to concede, even though we seem to be doing that on a regular basis. But I hope that we can defeat the Ugandas 2 or 3-0. I think that would be a good victory, and that would be significant enough to boost the confidence of the players and to give us some hope here in Ghana. Thank you very much, Nana Juman. Thank you very much for joining us right here on uh, the Sports Edition on Midday Live. Uh, you know, that was Nana Juman. He is a renowned sports uh, journalist and a coach here in Ghana. But of course, the Black Stars and the AFCON are trending.